So the unit we're gonna look at is the Anker 521 power station. In case you're not familiar with what this is, this is a portable power device that can deliver AC power through these ports here and DC power through these ports down here, as well as this car port over here. This is a standard 12 volt port. The inverter here can power these two AC ports up to 200 watts. And another thing to point out is that this USB-C port right here is a power delivery at 60 watts, which means it can output 60 watts to power or charge your laptop. The 521 also has an LED light. That's a nice touch for when it's dark. The chemistry of the batteries in here are lithium iron phosphate, which many electric vehicles are switching to, and the batteries in here have a cell capacity of 256 watt hours. And this whole package weighs a little over eight pounds. Since this is mainly a battery, we have to charge it up. And the method I get most excited about is charging by solar. The charging circuitry can handle up to 65 watts of solar input. So even though I have a 100 watt panel on here, it won't charge any faster than 65 watts. And with the light intensity at the moment, it's only charging about 40 watts anyway. But unfortunately, it's not always sunny outside. So you can charge with a supplied 65 watt wall charger or the 12 volt car adapter. Some of these units can do dual charging, and you can do that with this one too, which is pretty cool. With an adapter, you can send power through the power delivery port here up to 60 watts, and then you can add in the 65 watt wall charger, and you can almost cut the charging time in half. So what can you do with one of these? It's important if you're gonna get one to know what you want it for. One thing I like about these is that you can literally carry a power outlet wherever you go. I like to test these units with my 20,000 lumen LED lights. They're super bright, and when I plug them in, you can see they're using about 140 watts. You can use a setup like this to light up your entire yard or campsite, for example. Or you can use its 12 volt DC port to run a portable refrigerator and to keep food cold for about four to eight hours or maybe more because the compressor usually doesn't run the whole time. Or you can have it by your bedside table for a battery backup or when you're traveling to plug in things like your phone or your watch. In my tests, I was able to get a sustained output over 200 watts from the AC ports while running a box fan and my LED lights, but know that this is not enough power to run a normal refrigerator or a microwave. So if you wanna get one, think about how you'd plan to use something like this. 